stay tuned because I'm going to take you on a flip through through my one of my inserts in my um, toddler's notebook. It is, for lack of a better word, it's a bullet journal, but it's sort of my version of a bullet journal. I started it even before I knew bullet journals existed. So stay tuned and uh, come have a peek. <coughs> Hi there, it's Kara from The Hooting Pirate, and today I'm going to take you on a flip through through my favorite insert in my traveler's notebook. So it's this one. <laughs> so it takes up quite a lot of room, and I will take it out if we go on vacation or if I'm going somewhere where I don't want to have a big thick planner, like we went to Scotland a couple weeks ago and I took it out and left it home. But other than that, it stays in my planner. So what is this insert anyway? It's not a planner, it doesn't have anything with dates related to it. Why is it here and what do I use it for? So it's sort of a complement to my planner system. It's got all the bits and bobs, the lists, the tracking, the things that don't really have a home that I want to keep. Things that were maybe um, on the backs of envelopes or I wrote down like inspiration somewhere else. Um, now I keep them in here. This is where they belong. They belong in this book. So they now they have a home and it's right here. So I also use it use it to experiment and get creative. I do fun things, try things out that I might want to try in my planner or my scrapbooks later on. I use it to dream, plan things out, or you know, just sometimes I'll just add like a grocery list. So if you want to make one of these books, it's what you want it to be. So you can use it um, for whatever purpose that you need. So you can find out what you want to put in your book by looking at the little scraps of paper, the things that you're keeping in the pockets of your planner that don't have a home. Those are the things that you want to put in a book like this. Before I get started, if you want more information on um, how to create a book like this, I have a new class at Big Picture Classes and I'll put a link below and it's all about um, creating a book like this, how to actually physically make the book or putting, if, you, if you're in rings, it, it works, anything. It's just, I just happen to have mine in a traveler's notebook, but you use what works for you. So it's all um, totally, um, everything's totally <laughs> clear, more clear than I'm, I'm being right now in the class. So before I open this up and let you have a peek, I want to make sure that you're subscribed because I have lots of videos here that are um, to make things pretty like this, to keep you organized, to keep you um, productive, and uh, yeah, everything to keep you pl keep your planner working for you. So make sure you're subscribed. Okay, so look how thick this thing is, hey? Yeah, so let's get into it. So, oh yeah, let me talk about the cover a little bit. So this cover is, uh, it's just fussy cut. Some of it gets a little dog-eared, and that doesn't bother me, except this should be underneath here. It doesn't bother me that it gets dog-eared. It's like loved in, right? It's like your favorite pair of jeans. The only thing that probably bothers me about the cover is that the life, the letters here got a little dirty. But it doesn't bother me that the, the rub on got chipped or these are dog-eared. It's just loved in and just shows that I'm using it and it's part of my life. Pretty much every day, yeah. So this inside pocket, so this is just a piece of scrapbook paper that I folded over and I um, put pages in and just sewed the whole thing down the middle and made a book out of it. I do have a video on how to, to make those as well, so I'll link that up. This little pocket I made from um, like one of those glassy envelopes and a circle punch, and it did have uh, Project Life cards in it, but I think they fell out or I don't know, I don't know what happened to them. Um, and I haven't done uh, the front page I will get to it, but if you take my class, you'll, you'll find out why that play, page is blank. So this first one is just sort of different things I want to um, I want to do, big dreams, I guess. And I just decorated it up. And most of these pages are mostly for me for decoration, and they'll have like short little lists or things, and some of them are a bit more robust, but um, this one is a bit light. And so is this one, but I love this one. I like the all the decorations on this. This is just June dreams. Uh, this one is probably my favorite in the whole thing. It's books that I read in 2017. I love these little chipboard books from Paige Evans, and I read 52 books in in uh, 2017. So I guess it's sort of I'm proud of it, but also I love the way it looks, and I love that it was here, and I could just write down all the books as I was reading them. Um, I had a little clip here, so um, I could find it really easily. And yeah, they don't the monster all here, but they don't really match up to when I read the books, but that's okay. 
Uh, okay, so I a lot of these pages, I have videos on how I made them, so I'll link you up to the um, a playlist of all those videos, so you can follow those. This one is just more, um, again, just little lists, but mostly decorative. This is my morning routine. It's still my morning routine. This is probably about a year old, but all this is all the same. This gets a little fuzzy depending on the day, but other than that, it's pretty much the same. Oh, I love this one. This has got a bit of uh, multimedia I learned from my friend Terry, and it's really fun. I just want to keep it simple, like the list's a bit simple. So these are things, ways to chill, and it's like go for a run or tidy or organize something, which, yeah, relax. I don't know <laughs> I don't know why making going for a run would make me relax, but I guess. Anyway, uh, I like this one too. It's really fun with all the different, um, it's a lot of different texture. There's um, some frames and this butterfly has some stitching this is stitching here this shine is stitched can you see that um, it's like gold sparkly thread anyway um, some die cuts from my silhouette and some more stitching and what I did was put a different project in each frame so that was kind of fun this is a spread I did for a class I taught with uh, Studio Calico this is an inspirational page this one is back to school tasks and I take this page in the class I take this page as inspiration for another page and I'll show you that when I get to that one um, so these are things like this back to school the things I need to do back to school that would be something that I would just write on the back of an envelope and have it in the kitchen somewhere all the things I need to do before school started now if you are guilty of writing things on backs of envelopes and just sort of either losing them or on a post-it or whatever write guilty in the the comments below because I don't want you guys to feel guilty about that anymore I want you to put it in a one place I want all those little um, bits and bobs to have a home so I don't want you to feel guilty anymore this is another favorite I didn't put the pictures in but I wanted this to be because I take each of my children on a school supply trip and so this is really fun because this flips out let me open this up and then and I wanted to put pictures of each of my kids on these little spots and then this one opens as well so that's really fun and these um these are die cuts from my silhouette I like that little tip in now this is my book list for 2018 and I put washi along the side you can see here that it sticks out past the page so that I, when I have the book closed I can just flip to it I know where it is because this is the spread that I go to the most and it's fun because I get to color in when I finish a book. And I did finish a book today, yay! Finally, it was like um, an audiobook. It was 60 hours long. So I have to put that on. I haven't got to that yet. So it has more than 52, so I might not get to finish it. If not, I'll cover it up with a sticker. I'm not really worried about it just yet. Uh, this one is fun too. This one is the one that was inspired by this one. So I like this one. There were things I like, some things I like more than others, some things didn't like so much so I sort of revamped it to make a new page took the inspiration from that and then I have a little tab here because as these are kid sizes if anyone calls me at a birthday or um, they want to get something for my child I can tell them how what's what uh, clothes sizes they wear oh and another thing um, besides the washi and like a clip you can also use I, I like using pom-pom this is another book in the back but I love using pom-pom trim on my um, books so I can find pages really easy Plus, it's really pretty. Like you see the pom pom, you see the washi there. It's really fun. I love it. Okay, so we're here. Next, this is another one that I made for my class, and this is um, different things I need to buy for my house. These are um, our renovations and things, small projects that need to get done. So it's a good place to have this sort of here. It's not clogging up my um, daily planner always to do, and I'm putting it. You know, week to week, I'm adding it to the next week and not doing it, then adding it to the week after that. It has its own home. It's here. And uh, I know that, that it's there. And this is the last one. Yeah, this is the last page. This is also one I did for the class. And it's got different ideas of things that you can use in a book like this of your own. So uh, it's, um, yeah, it's pretty. I like it. I think it's pretty. Plus, it's, it's um, practical and functional. So if you have any... Any questions, leave them in the comments below, or you can check out the class at Big Picture Classes, and I will put the link below as well. Don't forget to leave me a comment, give me a big thumbs up if you like this video, and of course, don't forget to subscribe so that you can get all um, notification, or yeah, ring the bell too, because if you hit the bell, you'll get a notification when I put a new video out, so you don't miss a thing. 
All right, have a fantastic day and happy planning.